Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So we thought today, while we actually have daylight, that we would show you uh, what Rob has been doing with his cabin. So we're gonna walk up here, and then he's gonna give us the uh, dime store tour and uh, let us know what's happening. After you, sir. Okay, so I don't know if you guys first have to notice a floor mat here. All right. What's that? So anyway. Well, we they can see in here today. Yep. So okay, first of all, let's go over here. We got the panel box. Outlet. Get 30 amp outlet here that he can use for his solar generator. Right there, plug the solar generator into that. That powers up the circuit panel. Got the circuit panel there. Then Got then the plugs the coming down this way. Has a plug here. Another plug here. Another plug down there. Another plug there. And then I've got one wire running to the back wall. So when I do my little addition on the back. That'll be my power supply for, for lights and stuff in that room. Right, so there he's got his closet for right now that he's got. And then on this side, hey, 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 stop. <clears throat> there, is that what you want? No, she won't. Yeah, I'll say she won't go now. Yeah, no, plug here, plug here, another plug there. And he's going to do another plug on the back wall over there as well. So... Small fridge will plug in, then three more panels on that, and then uh, next time I'll work on wiring in the lights. So I'm gonna figure out how to. I gotta put a board across the top there that I can mount them to. Uh, lights up on top? Yeah, right at the peak. I gotta put a flat board in that I can put the, wi the right. lights up on that. So. And then I'll show you the outside porch light once again, too, because there's the switch for that um, tied into the light out there and I'll show you that again as well so it's about as far as I got this time so yeah it happens wiring it's just tedious it's right just time, not fun time consuming drilling all the <clears throat> holes and everything it just yeah like I say not not a whole lot of fun so. but uh, so we've got plenty of plugs which is important and then eventually he's going to have a, a doorway through here out into another room that he's going to make his uh, uh, bathroom and stuff in there. So, but uh, plenty of plenty of storage again on both sides up there, and up on this side, plenty of storage up there as well. So, and we'll and next time I'll also be doing the outlets up on the top for right like plugging fans or lights or whatever. In yeah, I should have at least a couple plugs up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put yep. one on either side. Right. So. Yep. So. That's it. That's about it. Yep. So it's coming together. Everything is slow and steady, but he uh, he was plugged in here last night, and I could see the lights glowing. <laughs> so that was a good thing. Did you? No, you didn't have. No. I don't no. Oh, you're using the small ones. That's right. Okay. Yeah, because I said to him, I go, okay. Well, now that you got it set up and it's working, I go, do you got do you got a light that you can plug in? He goes, no. No, because my plan was to have the lights up there, uh, so uh, and that just didn't happen. So right, it was battery powered. It was. <laughs> well, that's all right. It works. So, yep. Oh, Dave took your tank. Yeah, he told me he was going to take it. Okay, because I told him I said go. I said I know Rob's got an empty one too. Yeah. That thing it must have just froze up. I came in here and fired it up right now, and it, it it's worked like, fine. It worked fine. So got to keep the other one closer to the. Uh, to the other one when you're well, running it. It might be because I ran it all day yesterday and then all night. So uh, I'm going to guess the regulator must have froze up. Oh, uh, I gotcha. So. so there's the outside light. I actually like that. I think that looks really, really good. And, uh, but yeah, steady, steady progress. Uh, everything, of course, takes time, folks. And, uh, and it doesn't always go as planned. I think somebody just did a video about that. Did they? I Maybe believe they might have. Sure. Things take longer, or a live stream, live stream about that. Yeah. yeah. Things taking longer yeah. than we thought, yes. <laughs> but, no, it's, like I said, it's just, uh, it happens. I mean, things don't always go as, as you hoped or as smoothly as you thought. But, uh, you know, you just work on things a little at a time. And before you know it, it comes together. So, 
Then next month you plan on getting some insulation too. Excuse me. So, oh, yep. And there's See, I'll, I'll have the outlets completely done before I leave this this time. Right, right. So, and then I'll start my new list of things I need to get. To, to <laughs> get and bring down for the next time. So. so he's got over here, if you can see that there, that's going to be the stairs. I mean, I know these are awesome crooked <laughs> stairs that are on there right now. They are definitely uh, slanted. I'm going to have to dig out a little bit down here because the what? ground breaks. Why are you out. whining? Golly, dog. So. But, yeah, so anyway, folks, that's uh, that's where we're at. Um, nice little cabin. Now, what do you plan on? Are you going to skirt it? Yeah. Okay. It probably won't be till next year, but... That makes sense. Uh, it's going to get... The rock will insulation under it. Okay. Put some plywood over that. Keep the critters out. And right. Then, uh, and then I'll skirt the whole thing. Now in the back, let's go to the back so you can uh, talk about what you're going to do back here. All right. So what do you got? About 12 foot maybe? Yeah, I was thinking I'm just going to make it 8 feet wide or deep and that way i'll have room you know for some cabinets and stuff in there keep towels and everything so you're gonna go the whole uh, lower level yeah, size yeah th this will be like a lean to out here so you know that the roof will just slant off and get right. the water this way right so and then uh, a pitched roof in other words yeah all right all right so, and uh i don't know I'm trying to decide what i'm gonna do for hot water Right. I kind of want to do a, uh, you know, the coil on the wood stove. Yeah, that's an idea. And then from a lot of the guys I've been watching, you get like an old hot water tank, and you store the hot water in that because they're insulated. Oh, okay. So that way you kind of have, you know, it's not going to keep it super hot, but it'll at least keep it warm. So, right, right. So I might, I might do that and put a little cabinet, you know, in the closet type thing in the in the bathroom now area. whereabouts you plan on putting the wood stove inside it's going to be right in between the two windows on this side on this side in the yeah on, on this side over here guys yeah. all right so oh, very I'm, good i'm just deciding whether I, I might do an l shape for the like kitchen cabinet so you have like a little hallway when you come in the door right I right might, I, I might do that so since I'm going to put a little fridge on Now, I noticed that your kitchen area did not have a GIF uh, plug in that area. I do not have a plug in that area. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing close to the water. Uh, right, right, right. I just, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> but, uh, no, things are coming together good, and that's awesome. Now, if you guys see here, this one on this side is three blocks high. That side is two blocks high with a paver stone and stuff like that, just because of the slope of the hill. There's nothing much you can do about that. It is there's if you didn't slope it, water would just hang out underneath it because it run down the hillside. Right. Uh it's just we're in West Virginia and there's really not a whole lot of flat ground in West Virginia. It's called the Mountain State for a reason. Exactly <laughs> right. So anyway, folks, I'm gonna jump off of here for now, but I want to give you a second video of Rob's cabin. Um, just because of the simple fact that the last time uh I see I could see fine. So when people are like, oh, it's too dark, I can't see, uh, I don't know why it was showing up like that on camera, but I could see fine when I was making the video. We were losing light, which I knew that, but uh, other than that, it was going to be looked like it was going to be okay. So anyway, remember folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we really will be in much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Uh, stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.